Welcome to Meshology. I'm Sean Hancox and I create Daz Studio tutorials for sale on Daz3D.com. However, many times there's just too much content that's kind of relevant to the topic, but not right on topic. Rather than toss it in the trash, we're going to start posting it here on our YouTube channel as cutting room floor content. In some cases it will presume previous knowledge that's found in the tutorial for sale on Daz3D, and in other cases, such as this one, the content will stand by itself. In this tutorial, we're going to cover calculating volume of a 3D model using a DAS Studio plugin called Measure Metrics. We hope you like it. Enjoy. Alrighty, so if we created a cylinder, say for example, <clears throat> and it's one by one by one, we say okay, um, then with it selected in the scene, you come into your measure metrics and create a new measurement. And let's say we're gonna do uh, a tailor tape, um, apply a parent it to the object, say accept. So here right away we have a, a measurement. It's telling me that it's, um, sorry, it's, at the, it's on the floor. I gotta bring it up. <laughs> so this is a plane, right? Right. And you can see what's happening is these little dots are where it's contacting the faces of the plane, or sorry, the faces of the geometry. Yes. So from that, it's calculating that this is 122 inches in circumference, basically. Right. So if we if we add another of the same kind of tape, new measure, tailor tape, same thing, parent it to the, oops, sorry, I need to have that selected first. Or it gets all confused. Mm. Uh, create new tailor tape. Parent it. Accept. So here it is down here. Tailor tape number two. We'll rotate it. 90. So there we go. So we'll bring it up and we'll make it bigger so that it encompasses the whole thing, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And it's telling us that it's 157 inches now. So right. now what we do is we select both of these tape measures and create a compound measurement. Yes. New measure, compound, volume, oops, accept. So here it's telling us that the volume is 207, 279 square inches, which is useless. However, we come over to the parameters menu under measure, we can choose distance, angle, area, or volume. If we choose volume, this changes automatically to 43 square inches. Right. And you can change the, the um, measurements by up here. So uh, let's say feet, 0.27 square feet, the measurement you need to figure out for a gallon of water the measurement of a gallon of water is and i actually have that here a gallon is three seven liters but we want i don't know let's do inches cubic okay. inch so two, 231 cubic inches gosh so 231, so if we make this bigger, uh, let's do height. Oh, okay, so is the measurement updated as the measured object changes? Then? Yes, yes. Right. And it's, it it's, it's in real time. Yeah, as no, long as, that. yeah, as long as it, as long as you, um, as long as you ensure that you, that you're, um, measurements, I mean, it's like in real life, as long as your measurement changes with it. And you can parent it to the object, so as you make it bigger, mm -hmm. it will automatically increase the size of the tape measure. Yes, yes. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I thought that was kind of a cool, we're in cubic feet, we wanted inches. So we're at 60 inches, so we're, we're, we're close, we're, we're yeah. getting there. Yes. So I thought that was kind of cool, I thought that was really neat. Yeah, and I hadn't even known about the measure metrics pane. I've never even thought about looking at it. And you only get it when you um, when so you sure. buy. It. Do, yeah. do you get to that through the window menu? You do what window? 
Yes, so but you won't you won't see it there. You won't see it there until you go into your plugins. Uh, you, need, you need to purchase it, right? And install right. plugins. And down right. here, so you see how this one here has a animate has a, a um, fill in the serial registration number. Yes. Well, I haven't bought animate, so that serial registration number is visible, right? Like you can, I, it, yes. there's a box for me to fill it in, but once you purchase it and you put your serial registration number in, it, it that box disappears. So measure metrics, which is here, the box has disappeared because I've already registered this particular plugin. Yes, and, and actually that's what you want, isn't it? Because otherwise I could now be copying down your key. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Not that I would, yeah. of course. No, no, but I mean, anybody who's getting, who, who anybody who's watching the, t the tutorial can do the same thing. So it's actually, yes. I was expecting to have to block them all out, and it's just kind of a bonus. I don't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. I like that idea. But anyway, so uh, I think, so once you do this and you register it, um, you have to close DAS and reopen it, and then the measure metrics pane will appear. Right. All right, so that's it for how you calculate volume using the Measure Metrics in DAS Studio. But there's just one last thing that I want to add to this recording, and that is that if you don't set up, if you don't have your cylinder um, selected when you create your tape measures, your your uh, uh, Taylor tape measures, this is the problem that you'll get. So we have a, sil a similar cylinder. It's not the same one. This is uh, I, I just noticed that I wanted to add this after the fact. Um, so we're going to select, uh, we're going to create a new measure metric. We're going to do um, a tailor tape and we're going to call this height. And we have it here and our plane is there. So we're going to rotate it like we have to. Whoops. So there it is rotated. We're going to add another tape measure, create new measure metrics. It's also a tailored tape measure. This is going to be circumference. Accept. And we can select it and raise it up a little bit. Oops, did we not uh, rotate the one? that we did. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so we'll just make it a little bit smaller so it's easy to see it. There we go. And same thing with this one. Just a little bit smaller so it fits on the frame. So we have two tape measures. Neither one are parented, and you'll notice that you can tell that because there's no yellow line around where it's contacting the mesh. So what you would need to do, obviously, is you need to go into uh, measure and then choose what you want to parent it to, which in this case is the cylinder. Need to do that for both. Not very difficult. Cylinder, okie doke. So now you can see that we've got a yellow line out, outlining the um, the height and the circumference. Now we want to create our um, and we want to create the compound measurement. So we select both tape measures. It's the same type. We select create new measure metric. We select compound measurement and accept, and it won't let us. And that's because of the way that you need to generate this. You have to have the object selected first before you select the, the um, before you create the tape measure. I don't know why, it's just, it's a weird quirky thing with it, but that's just something to be aware of. You have to go back and have the parent, have the object parented first. And that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time. Bye.